We have been at the Global Humanities Institute, and it was a whole lot of us just kind of learning from each other, having important discussions, and exploring Tanzania together. We took students from four universities from around the world to prompt students to learn how to work together, how to transcend linguistic divides and cultural divides and research divides. The most en enriching part of the conference for me was just meeting people from all around the world and hearing about their work, their studies, and how that changes based on where you live. We've only been in one country, yet we've interacted with people of multiple countries, cultures, languages. I think that in a lot of ways, Tanzania forced me to go out of my comfort zone, just because one, of how far it was from Kansas and the United States, and two, because of how culturally different it is here. When we visited the, the rehabilitation center, that was monumental for me. We were able to meet with some people who are dealing with drug addiction and alcoholism. We went to the field and saw that in action. Yeah, so that was, that was amazing. Traveling to Zanzibar gave students a space where they could continue the conversations that they started in an institute. In Dar es Salaam, it was very centered on the conference. In Zanzibar, we were all able to go to the different markets and the different restaurants and see kind of a more diverse side. Stonetown was amazing. If you stay in Stonetown, you know, you stay in your hotel in there and you walk out and it's just like all these different like alleys and streets crisscrossing each other and then people selling food and people selling stuff everywhere and it's just like amazing. It's just been really great getting to explore with some of my friends from back home. You experience these things that take you out of your comfort zone like going on a boat and then getting off in the middle of the ocean or like seeing prehistoric giant turtles or tortoises that are like half of your size. Well, I love the tortoises. I didn't know how much I loved them until I got there. This week we've been in the beautiful Page um, on Zanzibar. It's been gorgeous. We've been doing reflection, debrief, writing about the conference. We've been constructing a photo essay. I feel a lot of gratitude for being able to participate in this experience, getting a much more global perspective than I've ever had before. There are friends I've made on this trip that have changed my life and that I will work with for the rest of maybe my academic career. To be 20 years old and to say I have a network of graduate students, of postdocs, of faculty in you know, a dozen different countries, that is extraordinary. KU is a global community. It is a global campus. There is beauty in diversity. We were, we were given an opportunity to engage with everybody. And uh, that, that for me was the diversity, the intellectual diversity, the social diversity, everything. Like everybody brought something that was very important. And I think that was very key. Going on this trip made me feel like I'm on the right path. I hope I can continue to connect with people like this across various borders. And like, it's just been 10 out of 10, a great experience. And the weather is amazing. So <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs>